Hey guys, it's Shark with Cyclone FPV, and as promised, I got a bunch of packages, sorry, all these yellow boxes, that means China. They just came in, we're getting that all sorted out, but uh, in the meantime, I am, I, I was running a little late on getting this video out. Now, this is part of our series, the new updated versions of the radios that we're doing for FreeSky. Uh, you know, we've done radio uh, videos, videos to set up the radios a few years back and over the past months, uh, but I wanted to update it now. We've got now access out there, and we've got a few things. I just want to updo, um, update the uh, the video. So here's what we've done. I did this series, the eight series videos, uh, which included the uh, QX7S, uh, uh, and doing the firmware updates, and running ACCST, and showing you how to hook up an R9 uh, Slim, right, that can go both ACCST and access. I did promise that I'd come back now and do the X90 Plus 2019 Access Edition. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys how to do this right now, okay? So here's what we're going to do. Uh, by the way, let me just say this first. If you haven't watched the other videos yet, please go back and at least watch videos one, two, and three, because that's going to talk to you about uh, installing OpenTX, uh, uh, getting it, installing it, and then uh, uh, doing your SD card setup, okay? So I'm going to kick off from as if you've watched part three, and we're going to continue from that point on to where we go flashing this. Now, I do have the SD card right here, and I am going to show you how to set this up, but it's already been formatted and partitioned, which I discuss in video three, so I would watch that anyway, all right? So now let's go ahead and uh, let's see. We're going to go to the uh, computer. Let me make some adjustments here, okay, and then we will put my ugly mug at the top, and there we go. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is, we do have the 2019, let me show you the radio real quickly, all right? So here's a radio that we're working with. This is the 2019 Access Edition. It's not the SE, but it doesn't have to be the special edition. The rules still apply, okay? We also have the 64 gig memory stick. I don't have anything smaller than that, so I had to go back and partition it to 16 gig, like I showed you in video three. If you haven't done that yet or watched it, please do so because I'm, I'm skipping that entire section. And now we're just gonna start loading the SD card contents on this, okay? So here goes, here's what we're gonna do first. On our, on our uh, computer screen, you're gonna see the FreeSky website. Please make sure to find this website. It's uh, freesky-rc.com. You're gonna need to go here to do your updates, okay? Uh, to download the firmware updates that we're gonna do. But right now, we're gonna go ahead and open our OpenTX, which you can see at the bottom here, all right? And I wanted to show you that this time in video three, uh, in, the, in, in, in video number three, I actually uploaded the SD card contents by putting this SD card inside a computer drive. I'm going to do it now by putting it inside the radio instead. So th those of you who want to do it that way, you can see these instructions. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's do this uh, here. Let's change my ugly face with the radio, which is much better looking. I'm going to turn this over open this up and I'm going to slide this memory stick uh, in the slot down here. Okay. If I can get my fat fingers to get onto it, we'll be much better off. So far, not doing so good. And it's still not doing it. Okay. I'm getting uh, irritated. All right, here we go. So I take this, oops, put it with, I guess you put it in this one with the label up. So put it with the label up, it, push it in, it'll click right in. When you're done, you can go ahead and put your battery. Now this is one of my older batteries. Um, so I'm just going to try to wiggle this thing in and hopefully get it to fit properly. I hate trying to get these things to fit because I'm never successful at it uh, the first time around. But give me one second here. All right. Uh, okay, a little more than a second. Let's see if I can get this thing to fit in here. Okay. Let's pop this in first. All right. Like this. And then let's close this up. Here we go. All right. We have our battery in. Now, the one thing you will see is that I have a regular R9M and I have a brand new R9M. You can see where you can see where it says access right here. So I'm actually gonna take this one and put it in here and remove this one, okay? So let me go ahead and take, if I can get my fingers on this, I'm gonna take the R9M standard out and I'm gonna put in the R9M 2019. And let me just grab uh, the instructions while we're at it so I can see if they've changed anything on here for you guys. Uh, a lot of people ask about the switches on here, so let me just make sure I cover that with y'all. And I wanted to do that. I wanted to see. <coughs> uh, let's see. Where am I at here? Um, I know the switches are located somewhere here because I've seen it before. And uh, let's see. Where are my switches? Switch one and function button. Nope. I know I have a menu here somewhere. Uh, I'm, I think I'm just overlooking it. Let me see. Surgery, so fail safe, range check, set RF. Yeah, that part I got. Uh, where is the switch functions? 
Uh, well, you know what? I don't see them on here. We'll go over that, I guess, as soon as I find them. They're probably right in front of me, um, but I don't see them right now. So anyways, for, this, for the time being, though, make sure your switches are uh, down, okay? All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to start by getting this into, uh, so that we can plug it into our computer, right? So go ahead, just keep your radio like this, and here, let me see if I can make this. I'll just make this bigger right here. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go ahead, and I want you to, um, well, let's make your model first, all right? Let's make the model on the TX first, uh, on the Open TX. okay? Let's do that. That'll be easier. So um, let's go ahead and open OpenTX. So let me go ahead and uh, put that back up here for you. And on OpenTX, I'm going to create a new model, right? So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to go to my settings. So I'm going to open OpenTX. If you don't have this part yet, you need to go over video uh, number one and two, please, OK? So we're going to go to settings. I'm going to go to radio profiles. And I believe I've already created an X9D uh, 2019. Let me just check. Uh, well, I don't see one. So X9, X9D, uh, OK. So oh, X90 plus 2019, that's right here. So I'm gonna actually click that and delete it because I wanna start over for you guys. So let me just go to settings and then radio profiles, I'm gonna click delete. All right, there, now it's deleted. Now we're gonna start fresh, okay? So as you remember in videos one and two, I said to make a folder on your desktop called transmitter, okay? So if you haven't done that, please do that. Again, go watch those videos. So you're gonna make a folder called transmitter and in that folder, now I've done two videos so far with this series, this is gonna be the third one. You're going, to make, you're going to right click anywhere on the screen here, go to new, and then folder, and you're going to make a new folder, and this one I'm going to call customer uh, x, uh, let me do this, x9dp-2019. That's x9d plus 2019. I'm going to hit enter, okay? Now I'm going to minimize this for right now because it's not that critical to me, so I'm going to minimize that. I need to be in this screen. So now I'm going to go back to my uh, OpenTX, go to settings, radio profiles, and I'm gonna say I wanna add a radio profile. And this is gonna be called, now you name it what you want, but this is gonna be called for me, customer X9DP-2019, okay? Now you can put your name or whatever you want. It stands for X9D plus 2019. Now pay attention to this part. On your radio type, you need to be very careful that you select the right one. You have X9D plus, you have X9D plus 2019, and if you keep looking around, you're gonna see a bunch of other radio options here. You wanna make sure you select the right one. So in this case, we're gonna select X90 plus 2019. We're gonna select No Heli. We're gonna select Lewis Scripps, and we're gonna do the Flex R9M. And again, I'll have a whole video on explaining all these later, but right now I just wanna get you guys to this point. Now, we need to go create under here your SD structure path and your backup folder, okay? So we're gonna do that right now, and here's how it's gonna work. You're gonna click Select Folder, and you're gonna go back to your desktop, go back to your transmitter folder, Go to your new folder here that you created, uh, sorry, uh, this one here, X90 plus 2019 or whatever you named it. From this point forward, I'm just gonna say the new folder you created, X90 plus 2019. Whatever you named it, just please reference it, that's what I'm talking about. Double click it, right click on the screen anywhere, go to new, go to folder, and create the folder called SD card. Okay, and then hit enter, all right? That populates into this area down here that says SD card in the folder section, click select folder. Now you're gonna do your backup folder. Again, click Select Folder, go to Desktop, go to Transmitter, X9D plus 2019, right-click somewhere on the screen, go to New, left-click on Folder, and call it Backup. Perfect. Once you do that, it should populate right here with Folder. Make sure it has the backup selected. Click Select Folder. Scroll down. You wanna make sure that you enable automatic backups. Make sure you're in mode two, and it looks like this. Make sure RETA is your default channel order. It doesn't matter, but we're gonna leave it like this for default. Select the next two checkboxes to append the version number to the firmware and to automatically offer to write the firmware update after it's downloaded. Then before we click OK, we're gonna to go to the top here and go to application settings. And then we're gonna make sure, just for now, let's just do this quickly. Checkbox number one, checkbox number three, checkbox number four. Make sure to do releases. Do not do releases in testing because you are not wanting to be part of that testing group. It, it takes a lot of patience for that and things are a little quirky. You don't want to be the one to figure that out. Use model wizard, that's fine. You can remove the empty model slot, that's fine. Now for your backup, unless you have a backup folder already set from other radios, click select folder, go to desktop, transmitter, your X90 plus folder, and just select the same backup folder. It doesn't matter, okay? Uh, enable automatic backup for writing firmware, yes. Leave everything else like it is here, and then click OK. You've just created the model on your computer, right? So 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download the firmware for it, all right? Here goes. We're gonna click this download arrow right here. And it's saying the last time I downloaded any firmware for this. Now you guys may not have a download at all. I did one that was 2.3.5. The new firmware is 2.3, no, hold on a second. Let me see, X90 plus 2019. Um, oh, that's, that's the one that's saying, I, that is my latest. So what I wanna do is see if they have new ones. So I'm gonna click check for updates and watch. It's gonna say, oh yeah, we have 2.3.11. Do you wanna download it? And I'm gonna click yes, I wanna download it. Now it's gonna ask me where I wanna download it. Pay close attention to what we're about to do, okay? Because we're gonna keep this very organized. We're gonna to go to desktop, transmitter, X90 plus folder, and we're gonna right click here on the screen, go to new, and we're gonna left click on folder, and we're gonna make our folder called open tx dash FW, which stands for OpenTX Firmware, which is what this program is that we're running. So we're going to hit enter. Then we're going to double click that folder because that's where we want to save it. Now this is a very long file name. So we're going to basically take all the stuff we don't need, which is all the jargon here, and we're going to delete it. And we're going to end up with OpenTX-2.3.11, uh, 2.3.11-OTX.bit. Just that small of a file because it's easier to read, right? Once you see that, click save. Okay, that is now saved in your OpenTX firmware folder that we're gonna put on this um, radio. However, my radio is not plugged in, so when it asks me if I wanna write, I'm gonna say no. So here we go, we're gonna click no. The next thing we need to do is download the SD card contents, and that can take a while, so we're just gonna sit here while it does it, because I'm not gonna edit these videos. I want you to see exactly the process and how it should be. So here it goes, download SD card contents. <coughs> when this screen comes up, you always wanna make sure that if you're doing the latest firmware, you're doing the latest SD card contents too, right? In this case, January 8th, it's always gonna be the bottom one. No matter what it is, it'll always be the bottom is the newest one. And that's gonna be 2.3v0035.zip. I'm gonna click that. And it's gonna start saving it into my downloads folder. Now this time it's moving fast. I'll tell you on the first video, it was like down to 20 minutes because the internet was so slow. I think that's because my kids were playing Rainbow Six Siege. I don't know, I'll have to find out. But anyways, so this says it's got about a minute left, right? So in that minute, I'm gonna go ahead and have me a little sip of my drink here. Now we're at two minutes. Okay, we don't wanna see it keep climbing, but it's fine. So when it's, okay, now it's three minutes. Now it's just gonna irritate me. So let's use this time to figure out a few things. What we're gonna do now is we're downloading the SD card contents. In that folder is something called SAMS, okay? Now you can fast forward this if you want. I'm just gonna to explain to you a few things. It's called sounds. In that sounds folder is a ton of files, uh, are a ton of files that are related to other languages other than English. If you want the other languages, you can keep them. If not, I suggest you delete them because it'll take the file size, the folder size of the SD card contents from about 135 megs or 140 megs down to like 16 megs, okay? <clears throat> so get rid of all the other stuff. That's what we're gonna do. In the meantime, while this is downloading, let's go ahead and um, Let's go ahead and just check out OpenTX real quick, okay? Well, no, I tell you what, let's do this. While we're killing time here, if you've got the Free Sky website open, right, which is the one I showed you over here, why don't we go ahead and just go to your product page and let's see what's available for the uh, R9M 2019 module first. So let's go to Download and Products. And then let's scroll down, you see modules right here? Go to R9M 2019, click it. And now look, you have manuals here. You have access firmware and ACCST firmware, okay? So because we're gonna do access for the R9M, uh, the R9 Slim, we're gonna go with access for our long range. So let's do that. Let's click the arrow for access and look at the options here, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do in this case is you're gonna just wanna download the version 1.3.0. You don't need to get 1.2.0 at this point, okay? So go ahead and do 1.3.0, and we're going to, and you can see here where it says you need to upgrade your radio firmware accordingly and things, okay? That's why we're doing our upgrades right now. So let's go ahead and click download, and that's actually gonna download at the same time and go into the same directory of our downloads as the SD card, so this is not such a bad idea. While that's there now, Let's take a look and go back to, now mine's going slow here, right? So we can come back and do this again in just a little bit. But for those of you that are going slow, also you can just check this out while you're waiting. Uh, you can go to download and then go to products again. And this time what we're gonna do is let's check out what we have for the radio, all right? 
So on the radio download, uh, 2019 X90 Plus, we're gonna click that one. And again, look at this. We have the radio OS, which we're not gonna be messing with. We're using OpenTX already. See, their newest one is 2.3.9. They haven't even updated their page yet for this. But let's go to the ISRM RF module. Okay, so here's the deal with this. When you change the RF module inside your radio, all right, this is going to, um, this is going to change the firmware that you do on your receivers. So be very careful, all right? If you have receivers, that older receivers, let's just say um, uh, ACCSD D16 receivers, right? You, if you upgrade your radio to 2.1.0, you must upgrade every receiver to 2.1.0. For the sake of this video, we're gonna do that, all right? Because the purpose here is to show you what you need to do to get everything up to date. So that's what we're gonna do. But when you do this, I would recommend that you download the 1.1.3 that you see right here as well. That way, if you're like, God, this sucks, man. I don't want to change all my receivers. I want to go back. You can always revert back to that one, and you can go back to the old version, okay? But I am going to tell you that eventually, I think the time's going to come where you're just going to need to do it, but at least you can have both options. For now, I've already got the 1.1.3 downloaded. Sorry, too many points. So I'm just going to get the 2.1.0, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So let's click that as well. You know what, let's click the 1.1.3 I'm gonna show you how to do it all, okay? Uh, we're not gonna load 1.1.3, but I'm gonna show you where to put it so that you can save it. So click that as well. Now we've got four downloads, okay? Four things downloaded, all right? The only thing left that we wanna download right now is if you're doing the R9 Slim, for example, is we're gonna to go to our uh, downloads again, products. And, and again, guys, we were just buying time because the SD card content was downloading. It is done now, but I'm already here, so I might as well do this. <coughs> uh, the R9 Slim, let me go here. We're gonna go to the downloads and the 900 megahertz. And then let's look for the R9 Slim OTA, perfect, right there. So let's click that. All right, and now you have access in ACCST. We already did access, our ACCST in our last video. Now it's time to go back to access. So here we go, we're gonna click the download arrow there. And we're gonna go to version, uh, let me see, 1.3.1, which should work with 1.3.0. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and download that, all right? And we're gonna save that as well. Now look at all these downloads. So this is gonna be a pretty cool video because we're gonna tackle all of this. The cool thing is, is whether you're using the R9 Slim or not, this applies to any receiver that FreeSky makes, okay? This entire process can be applied to any transmitter, any receiver, any anything. So please pay attention to all these because you can use them on your X Lite, uh, X9 Lite, which is access. You can use them on QX7 access. You can use an X9D 2019 SE with access. So all this will apply, all right? So here we go. We've got the four downloads. Now we just need to go to those folders and let's go ahead and take those files that we need and get them out. So here's what we're gonna do. Click any one of the arrows that you have right here and just click show in folder. And you're gonna see all the files we just downloaded. Look at that. The four from FreeSky plus our SD card. So let's go ahead and put the check marks beside those. Then let's right click on that and then left click on copy. And then go over here to your desktop Go to transmitter, sorry, transmitter, then your X9D 2019 folder, and then just click paste. Now that's gonna bring all those files over, and now we're gonna go and we're going to stop the video here so you get a break, kind of review it if you need. The next section is going to be um, setting it up uh, and extracting everything for you, okay? Um, yeah, that puts us at about 18 minutes. That's probably long enough here for this first section. So please watch this over and make sure you get it right. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come back and extract, extract these files, put them in the right folders, and show you how we're gonna update, okay? I'll be right back, guys. Uh, let me see. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, please uh, join our Facebook group. Uh, we've got a bunch of guys on there that are always willing to help. And then, as always, I beg of you, please, please subscribe to my channel and ask others to do it, too. Um, I made a whopping, like, 50 bucks on my channel, so it's not for the money, I promise you. It is because my kids, who are 9, uh, 14, oh, 9, 13, and 14, and my son is about to have a birthday. Uh, it is the 22nd today, so it's uh, two days from now on Sunday. Ashton Maloof, happy birthday, my boy. You're 15, about to get your learner's permit. Uh, oh, God help us all. Everybody else, be careful. But uh, it's because they watch it, and they're like, man, Dad, you got a new thing, new subscriber. So, all right, please, I appreciate it, all right, guys? Anyways, God bless, be safe, and as always, make sure to spend time with your family, guys. We'll be back with the second part of this video here in just a little bit. Peace!